have all of our numbers here. We're gonna walk around and look at kind of the big main categories that go into a project like this, and uh, we'll sum it all up for you at the end. Guys, Matt here with Built Right. This week we are stepping away from our truck and product related questions and videos and we're going to talk about our new headquarters. So people are always curious about how we learned how to do this, uh, what it takes, what's involved, how long does it take, what does it cost, um, and those are all questions that we are happy to answer. It's not like a secret thing. So we thought we'd take 10 or 15 minutes now to at a really high level go through kind of each of the phases of this project and about what they cost. Okay, all right, so we're watching a rough cut of this video and I just feel like I need to add some sort of a disclaimer here because I am sounding insanely casual about huge, huge amounts of money. Um, we're a small business. These are scary numbers to me. I think that over the course of the project, I got sort of desensitized to the numbers and it's almost like monopoly money. Um, but th just rest assured, this for us represents a huge, huge bet on the future of Built Right and what this team here can do um, and a huge, huge amount of debt. So you're going to see us continue to work really hard to make this possible. But... I just, I, I realized that I didn't sound appropriate about the crazy numbers that are involved here. So enjoy. Um, we have hundreds of hours of video from the construction and we're planning to put together a more detailed sort of documentary or uh, video about that, but that is not what this will be. This will be kind of a high level um, talking in broad strokes about each of these things. So I have all of our numbers here. We're going to walk around and look at kind of the big main categories that go into a project like this and uh, we'll sum it all up for you at the end. Right, so obviously step one is to identify a piece of property or a piece of land uh, that could be used to build the building. So we were trying to buy a building and we couldn't find anything that was perfect for us, so we started looking for land. Uh, we ended up here in New Milford, Connecticut, where we found uh, this beautiful property here. It was actually, where we're standing was kind of a hill and it carried up and over to that tree line there. Um, so we found this piece of property. Before buying the property, we kind of got it under contract. And then we had to go through all of our planning and all of our design and all of our approvals so that we didn't buy a piece of property that, that we couldn't actually build on. So that was quite a process. We ended up closing on the property in September of 2021. Um, and we paid, I think it was about $435,000 for the, for the land. So once we bought the land, it was time to get final approvals and everything and then move into site work. So the process for site work in our case here was to clear out a bunch of trees and brush and then regrade to remove this hill. We thought we were gonna have to remove a ton of material, but it turned out some of the old surveying was wrong. Um, we, we ended up having to bring material in for the site work. So site work on a project like this includes everything from clearing the land and getting to the grade to digging foundations. Um, in our case, one of the problems that we ran into is the hill was about 20 feet higher than I'm standing right now. And we ended up running into a bunch of rock. Um, so we got to a point where you could either hammer at rock for about $2,000 a day or uh, for some unknown amount of time or kind of bite the bullet and do some blasting and crushing. So we ended up spending about $80,000 on blasting and crushing, half of that being the blasting, half of it being processing it into gravel. Um, that was a bit of a sting and unexpected cost, but that's just the nature of a project like this. So basically this is what we had to blast out around here and around by the loading docks. So the other thing that site work includes is all the landscaping and the trees. We had to build a fence in back to satisfy zoning. We spent around $47,000 between the fence and all the landscaping. So site work is really a big piece of the early part of the project and then the build and then the back end of the project. So site work also includes our asphalt driveway, the curbing, all of the drainage, that sort of stuff. So the site work line item on this project was around $668,000. All right, so the next thing after the site work is, is in process and we've dug the footings and the foundation is to pour that concrete. So if you can imagine all the way around the perimeter of the building, there is a trench dug. Then they build forms and they pour the concrete there for the footings. So uh, this would have been the deepest spot. This is where we had to do all the blasting. So the general process that we took with this building, given the lead times for materials and the season, is that we poured the footings and then we assembled the building. And then we poured the slab once the building was, was assembled and in place. So the total cost of all the concrete for this project was right around $485,000. And that includes the footings and the slab. Okay, so that is pretty much everything worth talking about outside. We talked site work and concrete. 
Now we'll step inside our shipping and receiving area and talk about the steel building itself. The first thing that we did after we bought the land was order the steel building. That took about almost a year to, to receive. Um, so the steel building comes in a bunch of parts. I think it was like 12 truckloads. And they uh, used the property next door to like shake it out, I think they called it, um, to prepare for erection. And uh, so they came in. <laughs> just... It's hard for a person like me to keep a straight face when we're talking about, I mean, I'm meeting with bankers and stuff. We're talking about millions of dollars and people keep saying the word erection. It's, <laughs> it's very funny. Um, so they come in, they put the building up. It's a really fun process because it goes together really fast and it kind of gets real really fast. All right, to give you an idea of some of the steel costs in this project, um, the, the building itself and that, that, that's the frame, that's the siding, that's the roof and the, um, and the insulation was about $900,000. The labor to construct the building was about another $200,000. Um, not included in that is a lot of design fees. So somebody needed to design this building was about another $80,000. And then the last thing was like, I think it was 45,000 or so for some of the miscellaneous railings and things of that nature over over in the mezzanine so while it seems like when you drive by something like this it looks like it's really simple and i know you can order kits and stuff online it's actually especially in a case like this where we're trying to maximize the buildable space on our property um, there's really a lot of customization that goes into it so their main beams and stuff are pretty standard but piecing it all together is is requires a lot of work so the final total for all of the steel in the project was about 1.2 million the next portion of the build project was a lot of the interior finishing um, we've got a big demising wall over here between the two sides of the warehouse and then a ton of work up in the office. So that was kind of what they did over the fall and winter of 2022 before we were able to move in in 23. So one of the things we wanted to do was cut the warehouse in half so that we could have tenants or separate our space if we wanted to have space for inventory and warehousing versus manufacturing. Kind of give us more options in the future. So this wall here that runs almost the entire length of the building is about 35 feet, 33 feet high, and it's uh, sheetrocked and finished and painted. Um, that was a pretty expensive wall. I think it's like a $70,000 wall or so. All right, so we're up at our office area. The office area is about a little over 3,000 square feet. You can see here we've got stairs going up to a mezzanine, which is currently unfinished. Um, this railing, we've got a sliding gate up there, and those stairs, that's kind of some of that miscellaneous steel cost that I added to that earlier number. So um, let's go take a look inside the office. So the next category is kind of a little bit of a catch-all, but it includes a lot of the carpentry and some of the finishings and the glass. We're in the office space right now. We're actually kind of in our entryway in our lobby. So included in this is doors, windows, that kind of stuff. And this is like a long list of like ten to $20,000 line items. The heavy hitters are carpentry framing. That would include all the walls in here and out in the warehouse. Um, the overhead garage doors are pretty expensive, especially the glass ones that we have. We've got one outside and one interior here. That was about an $80,000 expense. Finishing the floors. So this was all obviously a brand new concrete slab. Out in the warehouse, we sealed the concrete, so it shouldn't be soaking up things. It's kind of a nice smooth surface. In the office area here, um, we polished the concrete. So it's got a nice polished finish on it. The offices have carpet and acoustic tile to help with the, the acoustics in the offices. Out here, you probably can hear this a little bit. Um, it's a little bit echoey, but we don't spend a lot of time out here. So, all right, you can probably hear it down here. We've got a pretty bad HVAC system uh, that's cooling us down right now. But uh, so this is our break room space. Uh, pretty basic, but you know, cabinets, that kind of thing. Behind you is a men's and women's bathroom. A lot of decisions to be made in bathrooms, like what tile you want. You want the tile coming up, which walls, how high, what fixtures do you want? Do you want the, the uh, do you want the partitions to be uh, sheet metal or that really nice thick plastic, which is obviously what we chose. So the bathrooms were like kind of a surprisingly a headache. Uh, we have a janitor's closet and an IT closet, which I'll mention in a little bit. All right, so all in, this is kind of a big, broad category. Uh, it captures all of the carpentry, doors, windows, finishings, things like that, about $390,000. All right, we can come back out in the warehouse here to talk utilities. So, so that being electrical, um, plumbing, HVAC, that kind of stuff. Um, our electrical service comes into the building on the south side here. This is an area where we learned a lesson. In the last few years, it's been really hard to get switch gear. So like not the boxes, there are kind of boxes on the outside of the, on the outside of the wall here where the power comes in. Really hard to get that, that gear. Um, same with this panel right here. So what used to take a couple of months or a few months was taking like a year or two years in some cases. We actually had to buy used switch gear from a local building. Um, that was a lower capacity than ours 
just to get our stuff energized because you have to have switch gear that's been inspected in order for the power company to give you a transformer. Um, just a, like a kind of a scheduling nightmare. We happen to get lucky because we made some of these decisions pretty quickly. Um, but that's one of those things that when you're building a new building is a headache that, that I didn't anticipate um, that you would that you would not have to deal with if, if you were buying something, even if you were doing a huge renovation. So anyway, we've got a bunch of power. I'm not going to go through all the details of that, but we have one of the things we did is we built a generator panel in. So um, in the event that we lose power, we can use a generator, whether it's um, a permanent generator or just like a, you know, a standard gas generator to get some lights and some power. So for electrical, that includes all of the electrical here, all of the electrical runs out in the warehouse, as well as the lighting. Uh, all in on electrical is about $285,000, $290,000. Um, next one, we've got the sprinkler control panel. So if you have a commercial sprinkler system, you need to have monitoring that's a part of getting your certificate of occupancy so this is our monitoring system if you look up here the whole building is sprinklered um, some buildings like this are not um, but for us it was a matter of safety and, and obviously preservation of the building so um, we have a massive sprinkler system even bigger over there where we have higher racking up in you know we got 30 foot 30 foot ceilings over there so all in the sprinkler system was about 100 grand, 95, 95,000. So the last of the utilities really is plumbing and gas. Um, that's relatively minimal for us, actually. We have, obviously we have water and plumbing in the offices for the bathrooms and we have a shower in our third bathroom. Um, as far as gas goes, our heat is relatively simple. We have a handful of unit heaters up in the ceiling around the warehouse. Um, that whole line item was about 125, $130,000. So the last thing is data. We have a ton of data here. We kind of tried to future proof as much as is possible. We have cameras everywhere. We have electronic access on every single door. Welcome, warehouse daddy. <laughs> uh, we've got great connectivity, Wi-Fi and hardwired internet. We have an IT closet, which I'll show you with an underground um, redundant fiber optic cable running under the slab up to another IT cabinet up in the ceiling over there so that our runs for these 4K cameras are shorter. Um, all in IT wiring was about $16,000. So that kind of wraps up the utilities, a bunch of other little miscellaneous things there too, but the total line item is about $595,000. So one of the things that doesn't really end up on our like budget for this is all of the little things that happen once the building is built that you need to have, or we needed to have. So that for us would include pallet racking. We added our big ass fans up in the ceiling, um, all of our IT hardware, uh, that all probably adds up to around 80 or $90,000. All right, so sort of the last thing is all of the things that you don't see here. So to get a project like this done on time, close to budget, uh, requires a lot of resources and other additional things. You know, security fencing all the way around the building, um, dumpsters, porta potties, lots of stuff like that that adds up. And then of course, the, the people that were involved. We had a full-time superintendent for over a year, on site all day, every day, managing all the different trades, keeping things moving forward. A um, bunch of other kind of people that are involved, project management, designers, that sort of stuff. All that amounts to like $300,000, $340,000, something like that. Um, and then on top of that, there are fees. So that's permits, civil engineering, stuff with the town. I had to put up some bonds for landscaping, that kind of stuff. That added up to about another $250,000, $240,000. So a lot of the stuff that you don't see here that you can't really put your finger on um, goes into getting a project like this done in an orderly manner. So that's kind of the last comment is, um, obviously these costs have changed even since we built the building. We are out here about an hour and 10 minutes from Manhattan. So obviously uh, a lot of things cost more uh, here than they do in other areas. And a high priority for us was that the project was managed really well and was uh, completed on a timeline. So we are a business that focuses on designing, manufacturing, automotive uh, accessories, truck parts, upgrades. That is what we want to spend our time doing not f around with a building project. So we went with a high-end builder, high-end materials, so that there was kind of no bullshit. We want the building to work really well for us for a long time to come. So you may have a, a brother in Kentucky that can do this for half price. That's awesome. That's just not the path that we took here. So it was very conscious and we know that and we're very, very happy with the decisions that we made. So a lot of moving pieces for a project like this over the course of about two and a half years, a bunch of different transactions that needed to happen. So I, I don't have an exact number. I think the final tally was around 4.3 million. I'll let Max see if he comes up with a, uh, an exact number based on what I share with him here. Um, but that, that's what it takes. So a uh, big, huge thank you to the folks over at Claris. Um, they were amazing to work with from the first phone call to helping kind of coach me through this whole thing. 
Um, one of the questions that I mentioned in the kind of intro here was, how'd you learn how to do this? And the answer is I kind of just threw myself into it. Uh, I got some good advice from a mentor of mine, but really it's a matter of diving in. And by the time you're in and we had some SBA financing and a bank involved, you know, there's all these people, there's all these stakeholders that have an interest in the bank wants to make sure everything's done right. The builder wants to make sure that everything's documented well enough for the bank and that they're doing a great job. So really there's all of these great people along the way, if you're partnering with the right folks that help kind of pull the project along. So I did learn a lot over the course of this project. There are things I will do differently next time, um, but that's, that's kind of how you learn. This stuff isn't necessarily written in a book or in a video or anything like that. Now I know, you know, somebody had to decide how many plants are over here, how wide's the curb, how far is the curb from the building, just all of these, the insane number of decisions that need to be made. So we're really grateful for our partners, Claris Construction being one of them, uh, who helped us make those decisions along the way and get to a finished project on time. With that, thanks for watching. See you next week.